So it is time for us to start painting our tarantula spider web. Is tarantulas don't live in a burrow, they will spin the web. When, it, when the insect gets into the web, the, the tarantula will catch it. Tarantulas eat frogs and mice. The tarantula catches its prey with its strong spines. So let's talk about what you'll need. You'll need your web. Please don't touch it yet because it has oil pastel and it could smear. You'll need a placemat underneath. You and your partner at your table are gonna have one paint set and one cup of water. You guys are sharing it. You need to decide which person's getting the paint and which person's getting the water. You may have to do rock, paper, scissors. It's up to you how you decide. But one person needs to be in charge of water and one person needs to be in charge of paint. However, if you are the only person at your table, then you, you are in charge of both the water and the paint. Remember, when you're ready to paint, we always dip, let it drip, and then we paint. You swirl around the paint tray. Remember, go in soft circles. You don't need to go hard. And then when you're ready, go ahead and apply the paint. Now, when you do your colors, you can choose to do it in any order. I'm gonna do the colors of the rainbow in order like that, because um, it's a pattern for me. You can do your colors however you'd like, so if there's certain colors that you really like, you can do this your way. Um, it's totally up to you, I want you to be creative, but I'm gonna do the rainbow, so I'm gonna start with red and then move to orange. So, because I'm done with the red and I need the orange, I need to clean my brush, so I'm gonna dip, swirl, let it drip, and then, oh, I am not going to paint. I need to dry off. I'm going to dab. No, not this kind of dab, this kind of dab. And you make sure that my brush is clean. And then I can go ahead and dip, let it drip, and then start my new color. I'm gonna take some time and try to finish this web of colors. Okay, so I am completely done. I really like how mine turned out because it has lots and lots of color. I even went over my name. So because I'm done, I need to place my paintbrush in the water. If my neighbor is still working, I'm going to leave my paint tray here so that they can use it. And now it's time for me to place this onto the drying rack. Okay, so now that I'm done, I need to put it on the drying rack. Notice that I have my placemat underneath. This is very important so that my painting doesn't spill or doesn't drip onto someone else's artwork. I'm going to take it to the drying rack and we always start at the bottom. Place your artwork at the bottom using both hands. And then you are done for the day, so follow the green arrows back to your seat. Because you are done, you no longer need your paper towel, so that can be thrown away. If both you and your partner are done, you can go ahead and return this to the counter near the sinks. You can also, when you and your partner are done, place the water cup with the paintbrushes inside in the sink. You do not need to wash it. Place your water cup in the sink here, and that is all. You do not need to wash this or rinse it out. Because we're using paint and water today, it's super duper important that we use those green arrows because I would really wish that nobody gets any water or paint on them because someone didn't follow the green arrows. Okay guys, I'm really excited for us to finish our spider webs. As soon as we're ready to move on to the next step, we'll start creating some spiders out of pipe cleaners and that will be really, really fun. I'm excited to see you today and I'm excited to see what amazing spider webs y'all are gonna create today.